Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet a long wave stitch uh, pattern which is the design that you see here in front of you. Uh, it is a beautiful design here. I've worked it in two colors but you can work this design uh, in any combination of colors you choose. The wavy rows are alternated uh, with uh, single crochet rows. It's a very easy stitch pattern to work once you get the hang of it. It's the same on both sides. I would love to hear uh, what kind of projects you've made using this stitch and you can let me know in the comments below. While you're here I also invite you to subscribe to my channel. It is updated weekly with free crochet patterns and a new stitch tutorial every Sunday. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using a little bit of the Karen Times Pantone yarn by Yarnspirations, as well as a 6mm crochet hook, and links for both of these items can be found in the description of this video. As well in the description of the video, you'll find a link to the free written and photo tutorial that can be found on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So let's grab our hooks and our yarn and learn how to crochet this long wave stitch. For our tutorial today, I will be using two colors. Uh, this darker teal will be my color A and this lighter teal will be my color B. And I'm going to, in this tutorial, also show you how to change colors in crochet as we work our pattern. Our pattern today is worked in rows, so you're going to start by working a slip knot and then a foundation chain and your foundation chain needs to be a multiple of 14 plus 2 stitches. So for this tutorial today I'm going to start by chaining 30 stitches. There's 10. Twenty, and thirty. Once you have your foundation complete, we're going to start by working our stitches and you're going to see as we work our stitches along this first row that they are going to increase and then eventually decrease in height. So we're going to start by skipping that first chain and into the second chain and then into the third chain we're going to work one single crochet stitch in each. So starting with the second chain, a single crochet into the second chain from your hook and then a single crochet into the third chain, into the next. We're now going to increase in height, so we're going to work one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. One and two. Next, work one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. One and two. Our stitches are going to get a little bit longer. We're going to work one triple or sometimes it's called a treble crochet into each of the next three stitches. So yarn over twice insert your hook, yarn over, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. So you're working three of those treble stitches, one in each of the next three stitches. Now we're going to start decreasing in height. So work one double crochet, into each of the next two stitches one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches and 
and finally a single crochet into the next stitch. We're now going to begin a repeat. So we're going to start the repeat by working a single crochet into each of the next two stitches. There's one and two. So at the height of our wave we will have three triple or treble cr crochet stitches and then here at the decrease we will have three single crochet stitches. Next half double crochet into each of the next two. So we are repeating the pattern that we just worked. One double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And then one triple crochet into each of the next three stitches. Start our decrease, one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. A half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And you're going to end with two single crochet stitches, so one in each of the final two chains. And that brings you to the end of your row one. For row two, you're going to chain one and turn your work. Now this row, we're simply going to work a single crochet into that first stitch and then into each stitch all the way across. So single crochet into each stitch all the way across. When you come to your final stitch in this row, you're going to want to switch to your color B. So when you come to the end of your row, meet me back here. Don't work that final stitch, but meet me back here and I will show you how to change color. So I am at the end of my row two here. I have one final stitch left and at this point in my pattern I want to switch colors so that the next row uh, is a different color than what I'm currently using. So to change colors, and this will work in any crochet project, I'm going to insert my hook with my color A on my hook. I'm going to insert it into the next stitch. This is a stitch prior to where I want the next color to begin. Insert my hook, yarn over and draw up a loop. I'm then going to drop my color A, pick up my color B and place it on my hook, and then pull that color B through. I now have my color B on my hook and I'm all ready to go. I can pull that stitch a little bit tighter with the color A and then the B as well later. At this point you can either fasten off, depending on your project, you can fasten off and weave in your ends or I'm going to leave mine attached because I'm going to pick it up again when I come back and I'll show you what I mean uh, when I get there. You're not able to do it in every project uh, depending on the type of edging that you put on but that's what I'm going to do for this tutorial today. So once you have your new color on your hook we're going to start our row three and we're going to begin with a chain three. This chain three is going to count as a triple or a treble crochet. Then turn your work. Next, skipping that first stitch where you have your chain three coming out of, work one treble crochet into the next stitch. Next, work two double crochets in, or one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. Next, work one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. Next, work one single crochet 
into each of the next three stitches. And that brings us to the bottom of our wave. If you're looking at it and lining it up with your wave down at the bottom, these should be lined up with your treble crochets down below. We're now going to start our increasing stitches again. So work one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. One double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And one treble crochet into each of the next three stitches. We're now going to start our repeat. So we're, and we're going to begin decreasing our stitches. So one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. One half double crochet in each of the next two stitches. And one single crochet into each of the next three stitches. Continue all the way across your row, repeating that pattern. One half double in each of the next two stitches, a double crochet in each of the next two stitches, and a treble crochet in each of the next three. However, when you come to the end of your row, you'll have two stitches left. You're going to work one treble in each of the final two stitches. And that brings you to the end of your row three. For row four, you're going to chain one and turn your work. As you did before, you're now simply going to work a single crochet stitch into each stitch all the way across until you come to that final stitch where if you are going to change color, you will need to change color and pick up uh, your color A or whatever color you're working with once again. Uh, so work your single crochet, meet me back here, and I will show you how I pick up uh, that color A that I've left attached over there on my end. So I'm here at the end of my row four. I have a chain three here remaining at the end, which counts as a stitch. So this is my final stitch. Now at this point, I do want to change color so that I'm ready to go for the next round. So into the top of that starting chain three, that final stitch, I'm going to insert my hook. I still have my color B on my hook. I'll yarn over, and draw up a loop. I'm then going to drop my color A. Now I left my color, or sorry, my color B. I left my color A still attached down here like so. Now, say for a project like a blanket, I was going to have a nice edging on this. So this strand will be hidden if I was going to put an edging over top of it, which is why I can work it in this method. Otherwise, if uh, this edge was going to be exposed. I want to cut my color A and weave it in. But if I'm going to hide it or this edge doesn't really matter, I can leave it attached and then I can simply bring it up loosely there on the end, pull it through to bring it onto my hook and pull those stitches tight. Now if you're going to do this method and not fasten off and weave in at the end of each row, just make sure that this is not too loose. You're not going to want it to look uh, messy or show through any edging that you have, but you also don't want it too tight because then it will start to bunch. So just make sure it's nice, laying flat and uh, even just up the side and then you're ready to go. At the end of your row four, you are going to chain one and turn your work. 
Now, for the rest of your pattern, you're simply going to repeat that row one through row four, continuing to change colors if desired, as we have been doing here. And uh, as your project grows, you'll have these beautiful waves uh, appearing in the design. So that's all there is to working this stitch. Uh, leave a comment in the below uh, about uh, how you would use this stitch in a project and uh, be sure to come back next week. Thank you so much for joining me and until then, happy crocheting. Bye! <music>